The murals of Max Ovenko, one of the greatest hidden treasures of Pittsburgh, cover every inch of wall at St. Nicholas Croatian Catholic Church in Melville. After studying art in Croatia and Belgium, Max Ovenka moved to America with his wife Margaret and daughter Peggy in the 1930s. He chose St. Nicholas, the first Croatian Catholic church in the U.S., to paint his unique religious murals. And at first he stayed with his in-laws in New York, and then eventually in uh, eastern Pennsylvania they bought a farm out there, and uh, he lived there. And from there he happened to meet the, um, the priest of the church, who had been, uh, they got together viewing something and started talking and when uh, the, the priest from St. Nicholas knew that he was Croatian, he was very much interested in getting him to do the murals since there was nothing on the walls at all. The murals depict Catholic figures like Mary and Jesus as strong working class people and show themes of social issues like fascism, war, and poverty. In 1980, the murals became part of the National Register of Historic Places. Some of them were very graphic. Uh, I think it showed the artists uh, real upset with what was going on in the turmoil uh, between World War I and World War II and into World War II. And so very graphically, as the, the one on the battlefield which shows the bayonet stabbing Jesus and uh, injustice which shows a gas <coughs> mask per, uh, angel or person uh, representing evil. In 1991, the Society to Preserve the Melville Murals of Max Ovenka was founded to preserve the murals and offer education and awareness. Well, I think they are very important to the community and even on a, a, a wider scale also to uh, the United States also. Uh, I know a lot of people who live in the area aren't even aware that these murals are at a little church here in Millville. I had several friends who, who'd done it and told me that it was one of those kind of hidden gems of Pittsburgh that, you know, the first few times you come, you do the War Hall and maybe the Carnegie, but you never really think to come here. So. They're working to improve lighting of the murals, which are painted with dark tones in the dimly lit church, clean the murals, and repair weathering and water damage from Hurricanes Ivan and Francis in 2004. The volunteer organization conducts docent-led tours through the church every Saturday. More information can be found at vancamurals.org. It's an awesome place, it truly is, and very unique, and um, it is memorable. That's the word. This is Lauren Dantella for the Point Park News Service.